In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the set button and also the quick control dial. If you haven't already removed this part from your camera, you'll need to watch the first video in this repair series. I'll put the link to the first video in the description. The first thing that we need to do is to remove the flat ribbon cable from this socket. Now just use a paper clip, put it in the hole, and pull it out. The next thing that we want to do is to take this larger flat ribbon cable, move it over to the side, and put a piece of tape on it to hold it down. That way it's not in the way as you're working on it. If all you need to do is replace the set button and multi-controller unit, which is this inner part right here, that's pretty darn easy. There's just one screw right here that you have to remove. With that screw out, you can take out the entire set button and multi-controller unit now. It's pretty easy. To work on the quick control dial though, that's this part right here, we're going to have to do a little more work. There are quite a few screws on the back side that we'll have to take out. We'll start by taking out all the screws that go through this metal plate. After you have all the screws out, you want to keep pressure on this piece of metal because you'll see right here, there's a ball bearing with a spring pushing on it. And once you take that off, there's a good chance that's going to fly out of there. So it's a good idea to put your thumb over that when you lift up on it, just in case it shoots out of there. And in this case, it didn't. It's still sitting right there. We can take this piece of plastic off now that is over the top of the spring. And that spring will come out of there. Next we'll remove this piece of metal. There's two screws holding it on. Something to take note of before you remove this piece of metal are these little bumps right here. This bump is up on this side. This one goes the opposite direction and it makes a dent on this side. So that way when you put this back on you'll know it's right when it looks this way again. If you have it upside down obviously this is going to be the bump and that will be the dent. So just make sure it's up just the way this shows right here. Now there's only one screw left and that's right here and that's holding this piece of metal on which has two sets of brushes on it right here and here. So we'll go ahead and take that screw out and we'll remove that. Okay with that screw out we can lift this piece of metal right off of there now. And with that off, we can remove the quick control dial. Now if you're having problems with your dial part of this, the thing to check are these contacts on here that the brush is right on. Check to make sure there isn't any corrosion and that there's no moisture. I've actually found a lot of moisture in this section on a couple of different cameras. Another place to check out are these little brushes on here. Make sure they're clean. Use a little bit of cleaner, electrical contact cleaner, to clean it up if you need to. Alright, so now we'll start putting it back together. First thing we'll start with is the dial that we took off last.
Next we'll put this piece of metal back on Now you can see the plastic pins here poking up through the two smaller holes. Okay, next we'll put the piece of metal on that has the brushes on it. Just line up the holes on this piece with the holes that are on the piece of metal that's below it. Then put the screw in that's going to hold it down. We'll put this piece on next. Remember though that we took note of these bumps that are on here. We want to have these bumps, the two that are on the inside, facing up. These should look like dents from this side. And now we'll put the two screws in that hold it down. Now we'll put the plastic cover on that goes over the ball bearing and the spring. Just move it into place, but don't worry about putting the ball bearing or the spring in there yet. Now we'll put the piece of metal back in that goes over the top of the, the entire unit. Just be careful that when you put it on there that you don't knock this piece of plastic out of place that you just put in there. Because it's just sitting there. Just lay it over the top. Make sure this piece of plastic is still in place. And then put a screw in there. And now you can finish putting the remaining seven screws in. Okay, now we can put the ball bearing and the spring back in. Just drop the ball bearing in that little hole and then make sure that the ball bearing is sitting down you might have to turn the dial a little bit but make sure there you can see it right here that it's sitting in that notch Next we'll take the spring and we'll put the end in that faces the ball bearing first. Just push it down inside there and we'll push the other end down inside. So there you can see it. The ball bearing and the spring are back in place and you can turn that dial see that it's working now we can put the set button back in make sure that the set button is sitting in the proper direction and then put the uh, flat ribbon cable through there And you'll feel it snap into place once it's lined up right. And when it's in place, just put the screw back in on the back side. Now we can remove this piece of tape. And we can take this flat ribbon cable and plug it back into the socket. 
just line it up with the socket, get it started, and then take your paper clip and put it in the hole and push it in. Be sure to test the dial and make sure that it turns easy. And that's all there is to it.